Hello and welcome to this week's episode of CBD Shorts. I'm your host, Ian. Today we're talking about accuracy in comic book movies, a subject we've touched on before. Whenever a movie based on novels or graphic novels goes into production, both the producers and fans must confront the restrictions of translating one media to the next. In each case, producers must decide how closely they shall stick to the source material. This discussion has continuously prompted conflict within the respective fan groups about how much a movie can change the source material before it becomes an object of disdain. Now, obviously not all elements of a story can be directly translated, and therein lies the issue for those who wish the movie to represent exactly what they read and no different. Most novels rely far more on inner dialogue and narrated scenes, a phenomenon that's often either difficult or tedious to capture in film. Films and comics, on the flip side, are driven more by action, dialogue, and visual effects, with minimal narration and character development through other means. Yet, even still, there are challenges within translating comics to movies, and these result in disparities between the original novel and its adaptation. Are these disparities positive, or are they to be despised? There are few elements, if any, that are as important in storytelling as the characters. Relatable and distinctive characters are the fuel that drives every good story. Luckily, with comics, most characters are already ironed out and even have physical models already to base costumes and casting off of. Unfortunately, sometimes inaccuracies are present even still, for better or for worse. Some changes are for the better. Side characters who have less importance may be changed in origin or appearance to better fit the purposes of the movie. For example, in the case of Iron Man's Jarvis, the beloved butler from the comics was changed to an equally beloved AI. With added witticism and a portability the human butler simply didn't have, it gave writers a caveat for banter in the air and provided a source of humor and drama that mightn't have been there otherwise. Other changes to character, such as costume and minimal tweaks to origin, can make for a more successful film. However, there can easily be dark sides to changing characters. Twisting the personalities of more notable heroes can cause them to lose their appeal and damage the movie. Also, whereas books leave appearances much to the imagination, changing the appearance of characters who have already been conceptualized can affect the moviegoer's ability to enjoy the character and brings them out of the movie even for just a second. Now adapting plots may be a little more difficult, whereas novels most often follow very defined and linear stories, comics frequently delve into self-contained storylines and don't necessarily have set plot lines to follow. That being said, when comic books are adapted into movies, they should follow the basic rules and premises found in the comic settings, characters, and tone. This can be done in sensible ways or in ways more harmful than good. There is often a wide selection of plots to base the movie off of. When a scripter considers the essential tone of their source material and leads with a character who's accurate in personality and driving motivations, a quality plot can manifest itself outside of the direct source material. On the other hand, if one does decide to directly adapt a comic plotline, there are implications. Readers will come to the movie to see certain set pieces and conversations illustrated in the comics. If these scenes are done right, they provide an instant fan service. However, a lack in producing any meaningful dialogues or set pieces can make moviegoers feel as if the film is unfaithful or lacking. Disparity in comics and their movie adaptations is an inevitability, but keeping it to a minimum is important in drawing in comic crowds. People enjoy seeing their favorite characters on the screen and represented as imagined. That being said, we, as the consumers, must also keep in mind the restrictions of the film medium and accept inaccuracy, the good and the bad, as an inevitability. Thank you for watching this week's episode of CBD Shorts. I've been your host, Ian, and remember you can check out our podcast on our channel or on Spreaker, and you can also email us at comicbookdirect at gmail.com or even through our website, comicbookdirect.weebly.com. Thanks for listening.